Hi, it's April Braswell from AprilBraswell.com. Welcome. So today I'm going to cover how to flirt for women, in particular women who are over 40. Now, often the over 40 single, and I'll just sort of focus on women in particular, I've done some stuff for men, but women in particular, what typically is happening for us is we've gotten into a little bit of a rut, and quite often we're doing maybe focusing a little more energy and that whole ratio of where we're putting our energy in our life. We're putting a little bit more emphasis and a little more energy typically on our careers with just a little bit of neglect to our romantic life. So I'm just going to joke here with like how I'm dressing. So sometimes we dress just like a little bit like too safely corporate. And we do want to be corporate, we want to be professional and all of that. But you'll notice how I'm dressing is I have a business suit on. I've worn a blouse, which is unmistakably feminine. I don't know, guy yet who will, yeah, I do. But I don't know, a heterosexual guy yet who would wear the kind of blouse that I'm wearing where it has just a little bit of a ruffle and it's framing my face. So it's feminine and it's attractive. I'm still in the business realm. So I'm being very appropriate during the business day, but the minute I'm stepping outside to go get maybe a cookie, a cup of coffee, or my lunch, or in the afternoon take a coffee break, I can immediately be in feminine mode and flirt with men now that I'm outside of my particular office. Of course, you don't want to do that where it's at your office and you don't want to be inappropriate. At the same time, you want to be able to, you're already dressed that way, so you're ready to flirt with men. So of course you're looking attractive, you've got makeup on, you've lipstick on, I have lipstick on. So the minute you're going into, let's just take the example of lunch. Now typically, all of a sudden my nose is running, that's just, you know, that's reality TV, is, so it's lunchtime and you're going out to get I'll just say your sandwich. So typically at lunchtime, unless you're there like at 11 o'clock in the morning, there's a line. And that's usually you're like, oh, this is so annoying. It's going to take an extra 15 minutes because there's a line. However, today that's a really great thing. Yay, thank you. Because a line offers you the opportunity to flirt with the people who are there. Your goal when you go out and you're just practicing your flirtation and bringing in your feminine essence and expressing your feminine essence and sharing that appropriately in a really marvelous way with others. That's all you're aiming to do today. You're not even like aiming to take a conversation beyond three sentences. You're just lightly bantering with people and flirting with them. So I'm going to give you the assignment of you're there in line to get your sandwich at, let's just say, like a grocery store or the interesting sandwich place in the downtown financial district. So typically there's a line, it's going to be a few minutes. What that means is you can just like find a little something, a little banter to save the person in front of you and the person behind you. Additionally, I mean pretty much women, because once we're just like sort of half chit-chatting, frankly we can like draw a few more people beyond just the immediate in front and the immediate behind into our little conversations. Um, what are you getting there? Um, what are you thinking of getting? How's, how's the roast beef? Is it rare? Do they really have rare roast beef here? Oh, the whole wheat bread. Is that really, um, how, how rich is the fiber in that? Or is it really like a white bread? How, how rare is the roast beef? Um, oh, what's the pastrami like? Have you ever had that here? Women, we can go, <laughs> we can get away with saying and asking so much more. Men, bless their hearts, want to be helpful. Ladies, you can win on this one. Now, don't be obnoxious. We're not here to take advantage. But what it just means is that you can easily ask a man any kind of a little helpful inquiring question. And he wants to be helpful. He's so delighted as a man in the 21st century to finally have something he can be helpful to a woman about. And he doesn't have to go kill, you know, a behemoth and bring it in and present it to her. This is 21st century kill. It's like, oh good, mm, here's your sandwich. Here is what it tastes like. Ask him for his expertise. Oh, I've never had the roast beef. Have you had that before? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Oh, you have had that? How is that like? Oh, you haven't had that. Oh, what do you get here normally? What do you recommend? I don't come here often. The point is, whatever his answer is, you have a response that can follow in that direction. It leaves him as an expert. Now you're up at the counter. You're ordering your sandwich. 
I don't care if it's a man or a woman. This is something women can do a lot easier. We can flirt with men and women, and no one like thinks amiss because they know we're not trying to get someone into the bedroom with flirting. We're just bantering, sharing our spirit and our feminine essence, and having fun. That's all flirtation is. So the person who's making your sandwich, oh my goodness, that looks so yummy. That looks so great. Oh wow! Whatever it is, be impressed. Comment. Say something. Admire it. Thank them for making you such a wonderful, delicious-looking sandwich. Da -da 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 -da. Now you go over to the counter, and typically you're paying someone else actually for the sandwich. Oh, this looks so great. I've never gotten a sandwich here before. Oh, I come here all the time, but this is the first time I've tried the roast beef. I'm really looking forward to it. Where do I go get a bottle of water? Thanks so much. This is the way that a woman can flirt and just make it so easy and so comfortable. By practicing and sharing your flirting spirit with people, this starts to become part of your normal mode. And you're going to find that you're out doing other activities, not just lunch, not just getting coffee, and you're just automatically flirting because this is now your normal habit. And you're just sparkling and sharing your spirit, your essence, and your fun with just everyone that's about you. Have fun, keep flirting, and that's how you break out of a rut of no dates to where suddenly you find yourself being asked out on a number of dates by a number of men. Happy dating relationships. It's April Braswell. Now be sure before you just like leave off here, chime in, let me know where you got your sandwich, let me know how the coffee went this afternoon, and let me know how it's, how it's going. I want to hear your comments. Thanks so much. Happy dating relationships.